you preach the gospel, I'm about to get you very excited about Juneteenth. All right, this is our day. Juneteenth, of course, is uh, June 19th. It's sometimes called the second Independence Day. Now, we know Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation in September 12th of 1862. Follow along. You're going to be in history school for a second. All right? All right? So it goes into effect January 1st, 1863. During that time, of course, you know there's a little war happening called the Civil War, which was over slavery. Don't let anybody lie to you. Read the documents. It was over slavery, right? And so in the middle, this was the middle of the Civil War that it came into effect. And now you might say, I hear you, don't, before you get offended, I didn't own any slaves. I, I, I didn't put anybody in slavery. Yeah, we know that, all right? We, yeah, like, we get it, right? But we need to revisit this because this needs to remind us what evil we are capable of when we don't follow the gospel. This is not that long ago in human history that people in our country owned other people in our country. That is, it is so beyond imagination that we would do that. We, we need to know how sinful man can be if he does not have the gospel being preached to him. Right? Amen. Amen. And so, so, so without a prophetic voice, without a prophetic voice, we will live in sin. We will live in sin. And so, so in, the, in the Civil War, follow my little, my little history lesson here. In the Civil War, they finally captured New Orleans, which was a major city in the South. The, the, the North captured New Orleans. And when that happened, slave owners started migrating west in America, right? And so, so many, it says almost, the estimates around 150,000 slaves were brought into Texas. Well, one slave at that point said it seemed like all the world was moving to Texas in that time. And so the Civil War ended on April 9th, 1865, which effectively, finally reunited the United States and all slaves were free. But how many of you know, not everybody was giving up their slaves just because the government said they were free. And so these people who had moved into Texas, in West Texas, they didn't free their slaves. And finally, finally, Major General Gordon Ganger moved down to Texas in uh, June of 1865, and he saw that they weren't abiding by the laws. And so Major General Gordon Granger said, hey, just so y'all know, your, your government in Texas, it don't exist no more. I'm in charge of Texas, and all the slaves are free, right? And so he finally came. There was a messenger with a message of freedom to the slaves. Hey, I don't know that you know this, but you got freed two years ago. But I'm now bringing the message of freedom to you. And now that you have heard the message of freedom, you can go ahead and move off the plantation because ain't nobody owns you no more. You see, they have been free for years, but they didn't know it because nobody came and told them. Somebody had been lying to them. They have been abused, rejected, dispirited, and dejected. You understand what I'm talking about here that what had been happening all along is what had been happening how jesus saw the world skilo k ripto on these folks but someone came with a message and said you think you're you're in bondage you think you have to stay in bondage but someone has set you free and i'm here to enforce that freedom you see juneteenth is the preacher's holiday right here because when the preacher shows up with the good news People become free. This is what happens. So I love me some Juneteenth because it gives me authority to preach the gospel to those who don't know. I see you're living in captivity, but the Lord has set you free on the cross. You see, he died a sinner's death and he was raised from the dead. You don't have to live under this oppression anymore. You can live free in Christ. Can you say amen? Amen, 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 amen. amen. Come on, somebody. I wonder how many people today are walking in bondage to the devil, even though Jesus paid the price for their freedom. Yeah. 